Hi there everyone, this is some extra footage from our nitrogen triiodide video, again showing, as we often do, that things don't always go according to plan in the chemistry lab. Now in the original video you probably saw this. We have a Lego professor touching some dried out nitrogen triiodide. It's a contact explosive, so the result is obvious. All very nice, filmed very carefully. Now often we decide to film these experiments a second time, mainly so I can get better footage because I don't do a very good job the first time. So here we are in the lab, we're gonna do it a second time. We've got some wet nitrogen triiodide on the hot plate, but it's getting near the end of the day, we have to go home, and when we first give it a try, as you can see, uh. no reaction. The chemicals are still too wet, they haven't dried out. Now we've got them on a hot plate to help them dry out and you can see here we're trying to increase the temperature. I think it was originally at something like 50 degrees Celsius. We go for 100 and then decide no that's too much, go back down to 75. Because we don't want the heat itself to cause the reaction to happen. Now here we are just waiting around for things to dry out. And by I think more luck than anything, I have got the high speed camera still running ready to trigger and all the lights are still on. And that's a good thing because Mid-conversation, suddenly, we get this. That's all right. And I guess just reflexively, when the reaction went off, I did press the trigger and captured the slow motion. Here it is. Nothing setting it off except just the heat. But if we look at that again, here's where we see a small problem. We have some still wet nitrogen triiodide off to the side here, being blown to the side of the fume hood. That means we have small specks of wet nitrogen triiodide in Neil's fume hood. If you've watched our videos before, you'll know this is not the first time we've made a mess of the fume hood. But the problem here is it's still wet, and when it dries, it's ready to go again. So Neil got his little Lego man and started setting off the bits of nitrogen triiodide as they dried. snap, crackle and pops like rice bubbles. We also noticed a few little specks on the floor around the fume hood. They were mainly being set off by my shoes. And of course the equipment that's in the fume hood may have had small specks on it as well. So Neil had to get all of that out and give it a good seeing to. There you go, not everything goes to plan in the chemistry lab, but it's always good that you see that as well.